Yo, what's up guys? Nash, you're here back with another in the bag video. It has been a long time since we've done one of these, but I've got three sets of gear, three bags. We've got our ice, we've got our roller, and our outdoor. I'm gonna be going over every single piece of equipment that I use in hockey. Up first, we have the twig. I've been rolling with the Hyperlite in both ice, roller, and outdoor, and we have got a P28 77 Flex. I've always been a vapor guy, and this stick has treated me so well. I've made some adjustments on the curve. I went from a P92 to a P28. I feel like we get a little bit better toe drag and a little bit quicker wristers off the toe of the blade. Also something I haven't mentioned yet is the butt ends grip. I've been experimenting with the butt ends grip. I think I'm going to keep it. I like that extra feel that you have up top. It gives you that extra power, especially when your gloves get a little bit wet or sweaty. Having this extra grip has been helping me out. And the comment I get the most on my outdoor videos is how are you using this fancy top of the line stick outside? I've got the hockey wrap around. I don't know if you guys can see this on here. We'll get you a close up. The wrap around is a piece of plastic that wraps around the entirety of your blade. So instead of scraping the bottom you're scraping that plastic so once it wears down you replace the wrap around retape it up and that is how I use this outdoors so that's it for the twigs let's get into the ice bag first and some of the gear obviously carried over from bag to bag and uh, see what we have in there before we get into this bag of course you probably mentioned I am partnered with Bauer if you guys didn't know that some of you guys are probably seeing me for the first time haven't seen the videos I am partnered with Bauer they provide all the gear get me the sticks and the twigs that I want so that is why we're all decked out. Popping into the ice bag. Up first, we have the Hyperlite skates. Of course, we have the custom Nasher tongue on there. Definitely, without a doubt, the lightest skate I've ever used. My favorite skate that I've ever used. Also have the carbon fiber blade down at the bottom. Just makes it a little bit extra light, gives you that extra bite. A great skate, absolutely zero complaints. Up next is the gloves. So I rolled with the 2X Pros for a while. Recently got these Ultrasonics and I am loving these. They're a little bit of a tighter fit, so it's like kind of molded more to your hand. Perfect for stick handling, good feel, good shots, and uh, good protection. No complaints here. For the protective gear, I'm all about just making this last as long as possible. They sent me a full set of 1X Lite gear. That's what I used a couple years back, and that's still what I'm using today. Up first, we have the 1X Lite pants, a nice tapered fit so you have plenty of room. Your legs move, the pant moves with you, and you can fly out there. Up next, shoulder pads, same thing, 1X Lights. I like a smaller fitting shoulder pad just because I'm not playing in hitting leagues right now. They're small so I can move around, get the arms moving, plenty of room for dangles. Same with the elbow pads, 1X Lights, nothing too exciting here elbow pads shoulder pads they all serve exactly the same purpose and last part here is of course the shin pad same thing 1x lights good fits get the job done for our helmet we got the bower react i do rock the full cage in beer league because i'm not trying to take a puck to the mouth get the gopro mount on here for when we are able to record on the ice although recently that has been kind of rare and of course last but not least we got to show you the beer league jerseys this is a recent addition we made these for this session we got the black and red Bandits jersey. The boys are buzzing. We're looking fresh in these. Honestly, we definitely have the cleanest beer league jerseys in the league. That about sums it up for the ice bag. Obviously, a lot of this gear we will carry over and use in roller. We'll move this out of the way, grab the roller bag, and see what we have in there. Getting into our indoor roller bag, obviously with roller, you use less gear. First, let's start with the skates. These things are crazy. The Mission WM01s, the brand new top of the line Mission skates, all whited out. One of the cleanest roller skates that I have ever seen, one of the best feeling skates I've ever seen. We absolutely fly in these things. Just an unreal skate, super lightweight, also has the ventilation on the side so your feet don't get too hot. Comes with the Lebeda Addiction wheels, which are the best wheels I've used. I don't know how they work. They're somehow hard enough that you can get good speed, but also grippy enough that you're not sliding around. So you kind of get the best of both worlds. I've messed with a lot of different rollerblades, a lot of different brands over the years, and these are without a doubt my favorite. Gloves I keep consistent throughout, so we're still rocking the ultrasonic gloves. For pads, I just wear shins and elbows. Those are of course going to be the 1X lights. For the helmet, we do rock the visor and roller with the newest Bauer React helmet. Pants, something exciting but we have the mission inhalers nice and clean and of course you guys know them you guys love them we have the columbus heat unis i know we're always getting love in the comment sections for these uh the guys absolutely crushed the design on this one we got those miami vice colors with of course the columbus heat logo on the front the boys are buzzing. And here's the white jersey as well. So we have been talking about making an alt jersey. Let us know your ideas in the comment section down below of what you'd like to see for that. But yeah, whites and blacks, both looking clean. Oh, I should probably mention the bags themselves too. For the ice, this is just a classic black bower bag. 
For roller, we have the Bauer Elite bag. Just black, simple, clean. That's all you can ask for. And last but not least, probably the bag that I use the most. This is our outdoor roller bag. Up first, we have the Pacific Ring Pod Pack. Purple, gold, it's bold. But you know, you show up to the ODR, you gotta be looking fresh out there. We have the outdoor skates, and I know this is sad to see. We have the inhaler FC Zeros, but I promise you, I have used these for the last three years, and I will continue using them. They're in a little bit of rough shape, but they have done me so well. And yeah, Mission Inhalers, such a good skate. For the wheels, I've been rocking the Lobeta Shooters for outdoor. These give you a good amount of grip, but still last a while too. I feel like I get a good three or four months out of each set of wheels before I have to change them. So yeah, the Mission <laughs> So yeah, the Mission Inhalers with the Lobeta Shooters, a great combo for the outdoor rink and a perfect skate for me. Gear for outdoor, again, keeping it consistent. We use the same gloves. I've got the same helmet. The only thing different is the shin pads. And like I said, I use these until you can't use them anymore. We have the Supreme 2S's that we've been rocking for outside. These are beat up, but they stay strong. Other things in my outdoor bag, questions I get a lot are which pucks we use. So for outdoor roller hockey, this is literally the only puck that I would recommend the Green Biscuit Roller Edition. So they have a couple different Green Biscuits. They have one for stick handling, one just for shooting. This is kind of the best of both worlds because it works perfectly for roller. It has the dimples on it, so it still slides pretty well on the ODRs. And all in all, a perfect puck that does not break, even when you hit them off the post. And last thing in this bag is the Top Shelf Target. So I use these for ice, roller, and outdoor. Honestly, I cannot recommend these enough. How these work is there's a set of magnets on the side. You can stick them to any post, any location. So if you want to go top right, stick it in the top right. If you want to go bottom right, you can stick it down there. They're perfect because they come in sets of four, so you can do four for four challenges. And when you hit them, they make a very satisfying noise and they fall down. So just that little extra satisfaction. So that about sums up the in the bag video. I know that was a lot to take in, but I hope you guys did find it helpful. Oh, one last thing that I need to show. One sec. Bauer has been coming in huge with the merch. Can we just admire the Bauer edition parka? Are you kidding me? You're showing up to the ODR with this thing, little pond hockey vibes, you know what it is. Yeah, Bauer has been going absolutely crazy on the merch, for real. I appreciate everything they do for us, for making this all possible. Just look at this bag that they sent us. Are you, are you kidding me? We got all the fresh Bauer merch. Uh, one of my personal favorite hoodies, the camo. A lot of people have been asking about this. I think you can get it on the Bauer website now. We got the new logo hoodie. We got this crazy fleece thing. Like, tell me that this is not kind of a vibe. Little orange triple hockey sticks on the side. Bauer, you're going crazy. Yeah, there's kind of a mix of everything. They got the Lululemon partnership now. We also have these nice, like, athletic tees. You just can't beat this. You know, a little little hat. All right, I'm giving you guys a little sneak peek. I don't even think these shirts are out yet. I don't even know if I'm supposed to show them. But these nature shirts go crazy. Little ODR mountains in the background. I, I guess I've been wearing this all video, so we kind of have to show this. But uh, yeah, Bauer doing some big things with the merch. Go check it out on their website. Again, Bauer made this all possible. I've been partnered with them for a couple years. They've been nothing but great to us and uh, have given us everything that we could ever ask for when it comes to hockey gear. So let me know in the comment section down below what you've been eyeing for Christmas. Any of the gear, any of the apparel, maybe we'll do a little giveaway and find some ways to get you guys some of the gear that you've been hoping for. All right, that's it. That is all the hockey gear that I have, all the apparel that I have. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, make sure to let me know by hitting the video with a like. Of course, hit that subscribe button. We are on the road to 1 million subscribers. I'm Nasher, and I'm out. Peace. Yeah, this is kind of a mess. <laughs>